a rectangular box changing when we have a length of six, five, or well, length width, depth, five, six, five, four. And then if the length and depth are increasing at one centimeter a second, and the width decreases at two centimeters a second. So if you look here, um, we've got the equation for this rectangular box, volume equals length times width times height. And the derivative is kind of like the product rule. So we start with the length going to the width and then the depth, height or depth. So based off of this dv, dt is going to be equal to um, the change of length with respect to time is going to be positive one centimeter second times width five centimeters times height, which is four. I think that's what we're going off of. I don't know what what's going to be depth. Okay, you got to be really careful about this problem. Um, I guess depth can be also width because okay, so hold on. So like this. You got to be really careful about this. So this is length. This is height and then this will be width or depth. It just depends on how you do it. Okay, so then over here plus length, which is six, height, which is five, and then, oh, excuse me. Uh, change in width, so it's negative two. And then we got four. And then plus six times width times one. Okay, so what we end up with is 20 centimeters cubed minus 48 centimeters cubed plus 30 centimeters cubed. And then uh, dv dt finally is equal to 52 cubic centimeters based off of the fact that You've got your length and depth increasing at one and then your width uh, decreasing by two. So anyway, that's it. I hope that helped you out. Thanks for watching and you have yourself a great day.